Hey guys and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a 35 year old stay at home mom. I have two toddler boys, a five year old Dorian and a three year old Jude, which you can see here in the video. <laughs> That's also my dog Bowie right there to the right. I don't have an actual formal introduction in this video because I wanted to get straight into cleaning. So I figured I could just go ahead and do this voiceover and introduce myself and go over a little bit of what you can expect in today's video. I am actually recording the first of my new mini series of Sunday resets that will be coming out every Sunday at 9 a.m. This is a little project I've been wanting to start on, but some stuff has been going on lately that I haven't really been able to. As you've seen in my previous video, I had surgery done to get my appendix removed, and then I had a healing period, and then after that, I started tra potty training my three-year-old Jude, which he's actually on my lap right now. So if you hear anything crazy, that's just my toddler. And this is part of being a stay-at-home mom. I'm in the living room recording this voiceover because I refuse to give up my nights because those are me time. So what I'm doing here is I have decided to go room by room with my shark vac mop. This device actually vacuums and mops at the same time, or you control one after the other, up to you, it's two separate buttons. But if you know and you have toddlers, there's no way I would be able to vacuum the whole house and then go back and mop while they're awake because one, there's either toys on the floor, again, after I've picked everything up, or two, that lovely kinetic sand that you see right in front of the TV. So <laughs> I decided to go room by room and pick up, vacuum, and then go ahead and mop. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get this video started. I hope you enjoy. Go ahead and grab a beverage if you're watching this to relax or get started cleaning with me. what I'm doing here with the couch. As soon as I started potty training Jude, I had decided to cover everything with towels and blankets. I just figured it would be a lot easier to throw those items in the wash than bring out my upholstery cleaner and clean the couch itself. You can't see in this clip exactly, but you were able to see in the first one when I was vacuuming and mopping the front plate area. They used to have a little colorful rug in there that they could play on top of, but I have put that in the garage for now. Again, I don't wanna to have to bring out my carpet cleaner. I just figure it's a lot easier to bring out the back mop and clean up the messes real quick, which was a genius idea because I have been cleaning up many messes. So if you're thinking about potty training, maybe take up all the rugs in your house. I didn't bring up the blue one, the blue and white one that you see in this clip because they don't spend a lot of time in this area other than on the couch. So I kind of felt like that was unnecessary. Plus I can't move the couch right now because of my surgery and healing. So this, this just made more sense for our family. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe we'll get there. Get right back where we start 
such a little stinker. Every time I go to vacuum the house, he loves to get his little grocery cart and pretend that he's attacking the vacuum, which, you know, helps so much. <laughs> so my mom ordered us some stuff to make the viral sleepy girl mocktail. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this case of poppies into the fridge. If you haven't heard of what the mocktail is yet, it's half a can of one of these poppies. They're a prebiotic soda. And then you add some tart cherry juice and a scoop of magnesium powder or two scoops, depending on whatever the serving size is. I show a clip of the Calm magnesium powder later in this video of the ones that we used, but I made one of these the other night and I definitely felt like it worked as a muscle relaxer and helped me settle in for the night. Plus it was really tasty, so I'll definitely be drinking more of these. Kind of simple, kind of wishful about things. And you're kind of simple, but like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover, and sometimes you don't wanna come back because you'd rather stay out with another. Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk guys bragging and the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself And the way of how you dwell the floor this house has a lot of flooring and I was only able to get through the downstairs I usually separate it and do downstairs in one session upstairs in another and whenever I can squeeze in the stairs I'll go ahead and include that in one or the other <laughs> I did not realize that you ran by in his little underwear <laughs> so cute but yeah it takes a long time and a strain on my back to do the floors so I hope you enjoy floor cleaning because you'll be getting a lot of it in this video. Don't know what we have to do, but someone's gotta change. You got issues that makes you a fuss, but someone's gotta change. If we never ever met before, if it never opened up my door, yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty, let's go ahead and 
began to take a break from the cleaning to get into the grocery haul, I had scheduled a Kroger pickup on my app that I was able to get. So for this grocery haul, I planned on making avocado toast and I love to get these individual pockets of mashed avocado. I have a tendency to not use avocado fast enough and they always go bad so those end up working out perfectly. We got some baby carrots here that Jude loves to snack on as well as the rest of us. I also plan on making crunchy tacos this week which Jude loves. <laughs> so I got some shredded lettuce for this, some blueberries for the house. They are the organic Simple Truth brand. We go through blueberries quite quickly in this house. I got a couple of bell peppers, a green bell pepper, yellow and orange one. I have a sheet pan recipe for chicken fajitas that I really love. And it's quick and easy when I don't feel like cooking. Got a pound of strawberries. Luckily, everyone in the house likes strawberries, even Dorian, which is surprising because he doesn't eat a lot of food. So we definitely go through a lot of strawberries here. For lunches this week, I was thinking of doing some sliced chicken sandwiches. So I love to have pepper jack cheese with that. A huge bag of shredded Colby Jack. Dorian loves cheese, quesadillas, and calzones. A thing of oat milk non-dairy creamer in sweet cream. This is actually David's favorite creamer, so I wanted to surprise him. And then this, I haven't tried this oat milk yet, the Khalifa Farms, but David recently found this app that lets you know what food items are good for you, and that was the number one oat milk on that. So he wanted to try it, so I ordered it. About four apples here. David's been a huge fan of apples, so. I wanted to get those. The boys eat them, but not regularly. A couple of the Roma tomatoes for when we have taco night. This red onion will be used in the fajitas that I make. It's delicious. You cut them in big slices and roast them with everything on the sheet pan with the seasonings. A bag of cuties for Dorian, because those are his favorite. I got a bundle of bananas. We love bananas. This is the chicken that I'm gonna be using for the chicken fajitas. I try to get the organic one just to be a little healthier. This is the sliced chicken that we eat that I get from Kroger and it is delicious. Everybody in the house loves it. And sometimes they're sold out, which bums me out, but I definitely prefer it over sliced turkey. I got some Smithfield bacon because I swear my children are carnivores when it comes to eating bacon. I don't really have a plan for this bag of petite red potatoes, but I saw it on the app and it just sounded good. So I was thinking maybe of cutting them up one morning to go with breakfast. This is the ground beef that I got for the tacos. I got the organic ground beef. I'm really trying hard to be a little healthier and buy organic products. Sometimes it gets a little, a little expensive, but especially for me and chicken, I definitely feel like I can taste the difference. Here's the Simple Truth Natural Eggs in the 18 count. This is another item that we fly through within this house. I got two things of crescent rolls. Dorian loves calzones. I use these with some pizza sauce and shredded cheese and make little calzone pockets for him. And it's one of the few meals that he actually eats. Every day for school, I pack him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I love this strawberry organic crofters jelly this premium spread, it's delicious. It's a little pricey, but it's definitely preferred, especially since he's eating it daily. I got a can of just Kroger brand jumbo biscuits. I have a packet of breakfast gravy that I plan on using to make biscuits and gravy. I got them last week to do that and we ended up just making biscuits, so I still have the packet. This is the pizza sauce that I got. We're out of the jar already. So this is the pizza sauce I'm gonna be using for Dorian's calzones. I was thinking with the fajitas of using corn, the sweet golden corn and black beans for our sides to be a little bit healthy. I just got the Kroger brand of cans. I, they taste the same to me. I got two cans of the Rosarita refried beans. Uh, one is gonna be used for tacos and then the other one, I actually like to sneak it in Dorian's quesadilla just to add a little bit of fiber. I love these buns for our sandwiches, for the sliced 
chicken and cheese sandwiches. They are delicious. I got David a loaf of this Dave's Killer Bread. <laughs> no pun on the name. Um, but this is, again, in his app, one of the breads that was most healthy for you. And he loves it. And he's trying to eat a little bit more fiber and be a little bit more healthy. Boys won't really eat it because all of the grain on the bread... So I usually just get them white bread. I got a thing of watermelon because I have been craving fresh watermelon with tahini. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and do that now that it's getting a little hotter in Georgia. I got David a thing of granola. He's been eating this a lot with yogurt. Sometimes when I make smoothie bowls, I like to put that on the top or if I make overnight oats, it's really good. The boys love goldfish, so I figured I would try these Organic Annie's Cheddar Bunnies. I know they're a little bit healthier, so I hope that they'll eat them. I was out of parchment paper, and I'm being real lazy by buying these pre-cut sheets, but you know, I don't use parchment paper that often, so I figured it might be a little <laughs> quicker to cut corners. These are the taco shells that I got for our taco night. And this is the rice that I like to use on our taco nights. It's the Zatarain's yellow rice. The whole house actually prefers it over like the box of rice aroni mexican rice i i think it tastes better and so does everybody else i got this bag of tortilla chips if you have not tried these tortilla chips you have to they are so good like they taste so fresh i i love them and i was thinking maybe of making some nachos with them that's something the boys will actually eat too. So I was thinking maybe for like one week night or weekend lunch. And then for Dorian's lunches and Jude's lunches, I was thinking of getting some veggie chips with the sea salt. Just to throw in as a little side. We love these frozen hash brown patties in the house, especially for weekday breakfast before taking Dorian to school. I just pop them in the air fryer for 16 minutes and it's just a quick, easy side. Lastly, I got a thing of this bird's eyes frozen broccoli. I was thinking of, actually, I don't think I have a plan for this. We all just love broccoli and I thought it would be good to have in the house and I'm pretty sure it was on sale. So that's why I got it. Oh, nope, just kidding. There's one more thing, this thing of sea salt. I needed to refill my salt holder and so I had to get another one of these. But yeah, that concludes the grocery haul here. Let's go ahead and get back into the cleaning. Somebody like me, state of mind is always moving on. Cut to the chase and walk quickly. Don't need no push it from you. Maybe you find me quite scary. I don't care if so, is it at all? Thinking about leaving the city. Lately, it's making me choke. Don't give a damn if I'm silly. I don't care if so, is it at all? You can choose to win or lose. I gave you the choice. The world is black. picking up every small piece known to man. I actually ordered some reusable Ziplocs that you can add labels to that I will be separating all of these little pieces into in an upcoming video. I'll most likely be doing it in the next Sunday reset. It'll be organizing some of their toys and then that way not only will it be easier to clean but for Dorian's ABA plus when I'm playing with them solo or anyone else who's playing with them we can teach them to open one thing at a time and then once they're finished pick up with that toy before moving on to another. Don't 
So I have recently told you that after he has finished playing with this kinetic sand, anything that he does not pick up on the floor or on the table will be going into the trash because although he loves this toy or activity or whatever you want to call it, I am sick and tired of picking it up. I do leave it out all day though because both kids play with it a lot, but at the end of the day, if it's not in this container, and I'm able to enclose it, I either wipe it off the table into my hand into the trash or I vacuum it up with my vacuum mop and bye bye it goes. And I'm thinking over time, I'll just slowly end up doing this until all of it's Such a mess Cause although I'm long gone I don't care for you I miss you and it frightens me And this must be the fight that I regret most The heavy drug you like to be watching the vlog so far and this sounds horrible <clears throat> hey guys I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I got the boys in their Easter baskets I wanted to make sure to include this at the end of the video since I told you guys in the intro that I was gonna include it I know it's a little bit late <laughs> towards Easter but there is still time a lot of the stuff I did get at Dollar Tree and a lot of Dollar Trees may or may not sell similar items. One good thing is a lot of these items are not Easter themed so if anything they should still have them. Some of this other stuff is from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link what I can in the bio below. My kids are at an age right now where they like a lot of stuff. So I definitely went with quantity over quality. If you're new here, I have a five-year-old toddler who's gonna to be six in November and a three-year-old toddler who will be four in August. My five-year-old is on the spectrum and he has very specific interest and my three-year-old likes stuff. So I definitely got their baskets to be some items are the same, 
a chunk of them are the same, but there are a few items that I got that I think would pertain to one child over the other. So let's go ahead and get into it. This first basket right here is Jude's. My mom got these baskets last year, so I'm not really able to link those. As you see, my baskets are overfilling. They don't really hold that much stuff. My mom did help me put these together too. So um, it was a combination of both of us, but a lot of these are crafts that you could like do like one time and then. So the first item is this excavator. I actually got this at Dollar Tree and my kiddo Jude is obsessed with excavators right now and his actually just broke and he has a kinetic sand kit that is like a digging site. So he's gonna love this. I got this Play-Doh kit from TJ Maxx right here. It comes with a little, this is a roller and it comes with two eggs filled with Play-Doh and a little stamp and everything. This right here I got from Amazon. It is Fabulous Geometric Eggs. It's, they're little dino eggs. So it's got a picture of the dino in the front. It says it works on enlightenment enlightenment cognitive and interactive and the bottom of the eggs are different shapes so you have to match what shape fits into what slot the color of the lid with the dino but he's very into dinosaurs right now so I thought that he would find this fun I'm probably gonna make this a uh, you have to ask for kind of activity because I'm not gonna be picking these eggs up all over the place I got him a little thing of peeps. I did not get them a lot of candy this year just as they're really little and they don't need it, but he's never had peeps and I thought that he would like these. I also got him this little dino from the Dollar Tree. It has Smarty candies inside, which I thought he would like, and then this just silly little dinosaur that he can play with after. This bath bomb by Crayola. It turns from red, blue, purple. We've used this before and they both love it. This one was actually from the Dollar Tree too and it smells like cherry. A confetti crayon. It's just a really big crayon that I thought they would have fun holding. This was from the Dollar Tree. Thomas and Friend toothbrushes. He's very into trains and Thomas right now. Dollar Tree. These jungle in my pocket, they're little surprise figurines. These were from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's gonna be one of these little animals on the back. He does already have two of the warthogs. <laughs> so hopefully these are different. These books actually have a funny story. These came off of Amazon, but we have one already called The Bear Snores On. And it was a kid's meal gift from Chick-fil-A. And it is one of his favorite books. So I was like, I wonder if they sell these books. So I looked up the author and they actually have the board books. So it must have been like a promotion for the artist, you know, with Chick-fil-A and everything. But so I found these two on Amazon for him to add to his collection. This is a little bunny making kit that I got from Dollar Tree. They're little foam bunnies and you can go ahead and put them together right here. So I thought that would be fun and then we could use them in dec as decoration in the house. These are little puzzle sets that I found at Dollar Tree. This one you match, it's called Animal Babies. It's a match and learn puzzle ages three and up. You match the adult version of the animal with the baby. So I thought this would be fun and a learning game as well. And then on the back it shows the picture and also gives a fact. So it says bright engaging photographs encourage children to match adorable baby animals with their mothers. And then this one is puzzle pairs. So they're rhyming words. So for example, cat, hat, dog, frog. And then on the back they have even more rhyming words that you can go ahead and match up. So it says 24 double sided pieces which I thought was pretty good for $1.25. So these are going to be activities that we'll do together. Uh, maybe in the morning, a little fun activity after breakfast. He's been into wood puzzles lately. I don't know if this is a little above him. I do think he'll be able to do it with me, but they have puzzles at the Dollar Tree, 24 piece puzzle, and I got him the little Monster Jam 
trucking pals, I thought that he would get a kick out of that. This is what the puzzle is supposed to look like. If you have little girls, they have the cutest Disney princess puzzles there. You definitely have to check it out. And if they end up breaking the pieces or losing them after a few times, you know, it's only $1.25. I did order a bunch of those reusable Ziplocs with the little front pouch. I'll link them below where you can go ahead and write what the item is inside. And I will be doing a declutter and organizing video soon after Easter once they get all their stuff because I'm gonna be putting a lot of these activities in each of those envelopes and maybe try to do like little sit down one-on-ones with each of them. They are little geniuses with their brains developing rapidly and I was thinking with a lot of these things in the Easter basket, there's stuff that we could work on um, to further those different types of cognitive developments and it's just stuff I don't want them just to throw all over the house. So I was thinking more structured activities I got him the Water Wow. He's used this before and he loves it. He has a few already, but this one is the Dino version. If you've never seen these or heard of them, they're amazing. You just put water in this reusable marker and they're pages that they can color and they show different images and colors and everything. And then once you're done, I like to just open the pages like this and set them on the counter and let them dry. And then they dry like this and then you could just keep coloring, coloring and coloring them. So it's definitely reusable. This one I got, I did not get this at Dollar Tree. I actually got this one on Amazon a while ago. My mom got them some bubbles. I believe she got these at TJ Maxx. But I mean, you can find these bubble ones anywhere. This activity was from Dollar Tree. It's a glow up glow peeps edition. It says no mess, glitter won't flake off, washable markers. So they're just gonna take these markers and color the inside of the white areas. I thought maybe the boys could sit down and do that during one of Dorian's therapies and work on it together. This is a Melissa and Doug reusable puffy sticker activity. This one was also from TJ Maxx. Uh, Jude is very into these right now with the stickers and the little scenes that you can go ahead and put them on and because this is has like a waxy film you can take the stickers off and put them back on as much as you want and kind of recreate the scene. I love it because it works on imaginative play also with fine motor skills being able to pull the little stickers off and he thinks it's so silly especially when he stacks them. So this is something else and then lastly in his Easter basket, we got the Peeps Jumbo Coloring Book. This one was from the dollar spot at Target. You know what, this one actually, I believe, was the dollar spot at Target too. So this is everything that Jude got. Let me go ahead and pile all this back up. So definitely a lot of learning and activities, a couple books. I was going more for activities this year than Boys. Um, this is the bag, so it's something we can work on together. They have a lot of toys. They definitely don't need a ton more. This was a the dino eggs was a toy, but I thought he would get a kick out of that. So let me go ahead and put this on the floor. Well, my little table back here works just fine. And go ahead and show you guys what I got Dorian. Sorry if my hair looks crazy. I had it in a clip all day and honestly the clip, it's adorable, but I think I need to use a hair tie to keep my hair up first before I put it in because it kept falling out and it was getting on my nerves. Okay. So just like the excavator, we got Dorian a little dump truck here that he can play with. And he has little people that he loves right now. So he probably, and little bluey figurines. So he'll probably put them in the back of the dump truck. These are from Amazon. They're the Learning Resources Skill Builder Toddler Flipbook. There's Animals, First Words, Colors and Shapes. Colors and Shapes are something that Dorian is obsessed with. And he's starting to read, just like sight words. So I thought this would be perfect to work on his sight words as well. And then animals. If he's not super into the animals one, I know Jude will be. I am going to open this up and put the books inside of the basket, but I just wanted to keep it in here so you guys could see the packaging if you're interested in ordering it for yourself. Here's the back. So like yellow with different items that are yellow, a rhinoceros dog, book, shoes. So 
definitely a little activity that I can do with Dorian. These are so cute. My mom ordered these. So one of his favorite shows is Word Party. It's actually made by Jim Henson, which is the creator of The Muppets. It's on Netflix right now, and they learn new words, these little characters. And Dorian is just one of his favorite shows right now. And she found the babies. These are all the characters from the show. So she had ordered these. There's Bailey. There is, oh man. Um, Lulu. I know that. Um, Franny. Tilly. And, oh no. Kip. Ha <laughs> ha, I got them all right. Hey Kip. It's an adorable show, and they've learned so much, him and you, just from the show. He also got one of these Play-Doh kits from TJ Maxx. I got him a little dino, too. I don't know if he'll eat the Smarties, because he's not very adventurous with candy, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. He also got a confetti crayon. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I said this was from the dollar store, but it actually has the Target dollar spot on it. My mom got this at the dollar spot. I'm sorry. I lied. I fibbed. I got him the puzzles as well from the Dollar Tree. I got him matching numbers, so like four items to so the number four. And then I got him alphabet, like apple matches with A. I bet Jude will really like this one too. I also found these at the Dollar Tree. They had some more, but these ones I felt would be best for Dorian right now. There's one, two, three card games, a puzzle, sight words, build a word, one, two, threes. Oh, I guess, oh, this is the same thing. And then shapes and colors. So I think they're just like, like sight words, like seeing before, and then the puzzle are two pieces that go together. Here's some examples on build a word. So these are definitely things I'll sit down. I'll probably put all this together in one of those envelopes and work on that with them or have his RBT work on it with him. He got a bubble wand too from Target Dollar Spot. I got him a water well as well and it's the old McDonald's have a farm one. He actually had this one a long time ago but it ended up getting ruined so I got it for him again. I highly doubt he's going to remember that he even had it but he's very into old McDonald right now so I know that would interest him. He got a bunny foam activity just like Jude as well as the peeps activity, the coloring book for the peeps theme. And then lastly, Dorian got this Learn to Count Eric Carlisle 123 book. It has a little drawing pad, magnetic drawing kit on the back. And the idea is you look at the book and you're supposed to trace it on the top. So that way you can work on your tracing skills. We've been working on it with him for the last like week or two and he's starting to get really into it. So this is something that he can definitely work on. He loves numbers, he loves Eric Carlisle, he loves, he, he has a magnetic board as well. So now we'll have two, but maybe the boys could each use one. So this is the last item in his Easter basket. It, I did not make it tit for tat where they each had the exact amount of numbered items. They don't care. My whole train of thought was I wanted to get them stuff that they really like and I'm not I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It is definitely easier to shop for Jude than it is for Dorian. <laughs> um, Dorian does surprise me though. Oh, I'm sorry, I also got him a bath bomb. That was on the bottom. Dorian does surprise me though because he ends up liking a lot of stuff I don't think he's gonna like. I do think his array of interests has been growing as he's been getting older because like I was saying with him being on the spectrum, he has a very, he used to have a very limited amount of interest in certain types of toys and items, but his type of imagination is starting to grow and I see him being creative with other different kinds of toys and putting things together and it's, it's making me really happy. I do notice I tend to buy things that I know he will like, which I should probably start moving a little bit away from that because maybe it'll expand his style of play. We have a lot of toys actually, so he can ex expand <laughs> as much as he wants. But yeah, that wraps up when I got the boys for their Easter baskets. I hope it gave you guys some good ideas. I just, full disclaimer, 
Easter is not about giving gifts. I don't want anyone to feel like if you don't get, you know, this amount of stuff for your kids or anything at all, it means any kind of way. I just, I wanted to share what I got for the kiddos for inspiration or if you're just curious or if you're curious what to buy little boys or three-year-old, five-year-old kiddos on the spectrum, whatever it may be. be. Spending time with your kiddos on the holiday is worth more than anything and we're not a very religious family but I know that's a huge reason for Easter so again spending the holiday with ones you love. I hope you enjoyed this portion of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed my Sunday reset with me. I definitely wasn't able to get as much done as I wanted but I'm still healing from the appendectomy. I noticed that on one of the nights that I was mopping, my stomach incision started to feel a little sore and I think it was just removing and kind of stretching on it a little bit and I didn't want to push myself. And like I said in the previous vlog, I'm potty training Jude, so not only is he asking to use the bathroom, but I'm having to remember to tell him constantly and he's having accidents. So today he had a lot, but the few days before this, it was about one accident a day, but we're, we're doing it. We're doing the best that we can and that's all we can ask for. I do plan on doing Sunday resets every Sunday moving forward. They will most likely be done over a couple of days and compiled into one video because as I'm sure most of you already know, especially those with kids, sometimes it's hard to get it all done in one day. But mopping was something I had been wanting to do for a very long time. So I'm happy that I did that and I am content with what I am capable of. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.